Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how we can code a compass app using Flutter. So I've opened up a brand new Flutter project and just to keep us all on the same page, in my main function I'm running my app which gives us a stateful widget and I've just got a blank scaffold so you should have a white blank app like this. Now the first thing to do is to go to our pubspec.yaml and we're going to bring in two packages for today. So the first one is the flutter compass and we also need the permission handler as well to get the device's location. So save that and close the file and coming back to the main.dart let's do a little bit of coding. So the first thing is to get the permission status. So I'm just going to create a boolean here and in the initial state let's fetch the permission status. So we're going to have to create this method now. So permission.location when in use. Let's get the status and let's check the value of this. So let's do a quick if statement and we can check if it's mounted, uh, meaning like if we have the sensor mounted. And so if that's the case, then let's change the permission status to if it's granted or not. So I put this in a separate bracket. Right, the double equal sign will do a check for us and say, okay, is status equal to the permission status dot granted? And it will return a true or false. Now we have to do a couple of things. Now in the scaffold body, let's create a builder. And again, we're gonna do another quick if statement. And I just wanna check at the very beginning if we need to show the compass or if we need to show the uh, button to get the permission. Right, so if I have permission, then let's just show the compass. If I don't have permission, then let's uh, build a permission sheet, which in other words is just a page that has a button so that the user can click on it. Okay, so let's come down below here and just create the two widgets. Now I'm actually gonna start with the permission widget first. And like I said, for this, it's just going to be a button essentially. And we're going to say request permission. So the user will tap on this button and on pressed, we can now get the permission. So permission.location when induced, and we can request for the permission. Cool, so when this button is pressed, then let's fetch the permission status. And the last thing to do is to build the actual compass itself. So before we do this, the first thing is probably a good idea to get a picture. So for now, I'm just gonna put in a basic text widget, just saying, let's put our compass here. Cool, now if we actually run this in our app just to see how it's going so far, there's our button. Now if you click on it, it will give a bit of an error, like your app will crash. And so let's just revisit the compass package that we're using. Okay, so I'll link this below, of course. And you can see we have to actually make some adjustments for the different platforms, so iOS and Android. So just starting with the iOS, you can actually see if you click on the reference example code, this little bit is what we need to add and it also tells you where we should add it, right? So we have iOS runner and info.plist. That's where we want to add it. So let's go to our project structure in the iOS, runner, info plist, and just paste it in here. Okay, so let's just restart this and see if we get a crash or not. Cool, so you can see now if I click this permission requesting button, you want this little box to show up. So allow compass to, to use your location and then the user can decide allow once or allow while using app. Cool, so that's what we want to see. Now let's do something similar for the Android as well while we're here. Okay, so for the Android, we're going to add these three guys. Again, I'm just going to click on the reference example code and just copy this bit and we're going to paste it in the Android manifest. Okay, so it's going to be in Android app source main and the android manifest okay and just paste it at the top and now we can focus on building the actual compass we had so much setting up to do now the main thing we need for the compass is actually an image right so i'm just going to go to google and i want you to type in compass and also the word transparent because i want like a transparent background you can see that kind of grid at the back so i want you to just pick any compass picture that you want and so I've picked one out. And once you've picked your image, let's bring it into our project. So in the library, I'm just gonna create a new folder called images. 
and let's just drag this in. Cool, which means we have to tell the project that we're going to bring some assets in, right? So go to your pubspec.yaml and let's comment this out. And I want the folder library slash images and just that whole folder. Cool, so let's see if we can actually display this image now. So instead of this text widget, let's say image.asset. And the path was library images and compass.png. And by the way, you can do some cool things with images where you can just change the color of it. So I'm just gonna go with black. And also with this container, you can use the padding to control basically the size of this compass. So yep, this stuff is up to you. And the main thing that we really need to do is to rotate this around, right? So let's just copy this and just hold on to it for a second. And we're going to return a stream builder. Okay, so this will help us keep track of the compass event. Okay, so we're gonna read this stream. And in the builder, let's have a look at the snapshot to know what we're gonna display. So for example, the first thing is, do we get an error? If we have an error, then let's return this error message. And probably a good idea to interpolate this string. Yep, like that. And the other thing is, are we loading? Right, so snapshot connection state. If it's waiting, then let's return a circular progress indicator, okay, to show them that it's loading. So the first one is for error. Second one is for loading. And then the last thing is the actual compass itself. Right, so I'm going to store a double variable called direction and we can read the data from the snapshot. Now, if this direction variable is null, then that means uh, the device doesn't support these sensors. Okay, so let's actually tell the user this. So if the direction is null, just return a text widget saying device doesn't support sensors. And then finally, we can return the actual compass. So I'm just gonna copy back the compass that we created earlier. Now, because we're on a simulator, it's gonna just keep loading like this. So this is when we're going to have to actually use our physical device to test out the app. Okay, so just before we move on to the physical device, the one last thing we have to add is this transform widget. Okay, so just wrap your image with a transform.rotate and we have to specify this angle. So let's grab our direction. What we're going to do is use some math here. Now we're going to have to actually import the dot math at the top. So that we can get access to the pi, right? So pi is 180 degrees in radians. So let's divide by 180 to get the radian per degree. And we're going to need to just multiply negative one just to uh, just to calibrate the direction so it's going in the right way. Sweet, so that should be it. Now I'm going to show you on my physical device. So here's our code. This is on my camera now and I've loaded it up on my iPhone. So let's request permission. Allow once and let's see if this works. Yeah, so you can see as I turn this around, the true north will always be true north. So this is the compass app. Sweet, so that's actually it on how to build a compass app. Now, you guys know I like to make things look a little nice and aesthetic. So I'll put this code on my GitHub, which is essentially what I showed you in this tutorial, but I added this extra pneumorphic circle. This file is just some pneumorphism and I made it brown because I think that's a cool color and you can just give the child here. So this is just some extra touch I made to make it look a little nicer, which you guys can access in my GitHub. And then you'll get some nice aesthetic looking compass like this. So hopefully that was easy to follow. If you have any questions, just let us know below and I'll try to answer it and help you out. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.